Hey everybody, it is Tanya Thrifty Treasures. Welcome to another video. So in today's video, we are going to be unboxing a jewelry bag that I picked up at Goodwill. I paid $29.99 for this bag, and we are going to see what's inside of it. Uh, but first of all, if you are new here to my channel, I'd like to welcome you, and I hope that you will hit that subscribe button and come back for more co content about the um, jewelry jars and also the different platforms I sell on, Macari, Etsy, eBay. Um, did I say Poshmark? Poshmark too. <laughs> so, and I also sell uh, Merchant Fulfilled on Amazon. So let's break into this bag. So I'm hoping that I can just kind of move my MacBook a little bit forward and show you guys uh, the bag and how I'm going to be opening it. I tried to do some kind of compli complicated setup and uh, it just wasn't working. I thought, you know what? Why don't I just move the camera down? Okay, now I'm not even going to lie. I probably had probably had this bag for like three months now. <laughs> I just haven't had time to open it. It is a pretty big bag. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm dropping stuff already. So if you guys do the jewelry jar uh, unboxings, I would be interested to know where you guys, ooh, this is pretty, I thought I found right off the bat. This pretty little, is it a pearl? It's got this little green, little emerald. I don't know if you guys can see that. Mm, is that pretty? All right. So let me know where you guys uh, are buying your jewelry jars or jewelry bags, like in my area. They don't make the, the glass jars anymore, so they've been putting it in these plastic bags. Okay. So here are some big old hoochie mama earrings right there together. You see some watches. Ooh, these are really big watches too. What does this one say? Oops, stuff is falling out on my MacBook. See, so I have my loop here with me. Uh, this one says Geneva. And this one says Geneva also. They are both Geneva. I don't think either one of them are working. I would probably add those to a watch lot. I have a huge bag. Uh, actually, it's just a big old plastic container full of watches. But eventually, I'm going to auction the whole thing off or sell them individually. I'm not sure. And this one has a leather wrap. It's pretty worn. This one says uh, bull, Bullhead. So that is what that one looks like. It's like everything's kept together. Sometimes here's some little piece earrings. Sometimes I have to wonder, uh, well actually I know that a lot of times the stuff at Goodwill that doesn't sell, they'll take it and um, put it in the jewelry jars. So I think, I'm thinking that's why those are nice and together like that. And that might be exactly what happened in this bag. There's a little clip on earring. Not signed. Really should have got a bigger container to have dumped this in. This is cute. This is like a little handmade little lighthouse necklace, little beaded necklace. Somebody might want that that collects lighthouses. So I'll probably list that for like, I don't know, probably $12. What do you guys think? Gosh, I don't know about you guys, but when I open a jar, it's just like so overwhelming. There's just so much stuff. And here is a pretty little, uh, probably a silver tone bracelet. Oh, I see it hooks here. Duh, has a little lobster clasp. Now in the past I've made videos doing these uh, unjarrings like this after I already opened everything and then I just showed you what I got inside, but I had a couple of people tell me, yeah, and it definitely sticks to the magnet. 
a couple of people tell me that they really prefer just like to see everything poured out. So hopefully you guys like this format. Here's another little bracelet, like a little clamper. Silver tone. It's kind of pretty. Look at my lovely bobo. Pretty. It's heavy though and cold. <laughs> oh, this is a pretty bangle. It's like enamel. I wonder if there's some more in there. Oh, it's, it's a hinged bangle. Oh, it's marked. See, it's marked something right there on the inside. Let's see what it says. Actually, it doesn't say anything. It's just a circle. Well, heck fire. Still pretty, though. Pretty little pink and maybe a darker pink. Uh necklace what I saw it marked there's a little heart here it says AE maybe that's um American Eagle maybe but yeah pretty little necklace This looks like, I thought it was a watch, but it's not. It's interesting. Probably put that in another lot. Sometimes I make it the jewelry jars to put back in my antique booth. Uh, and also have people that I sell to as well. So that'll probably go in one of those kind of lots. Pretty little plastic necklace. We have a little key ring holder. There's another one. This has a lot of watches in it, huh? Another watch. I don't know if this one's marked or not. I'm not seeing anything on it. Oops. Sorry about that, y'all. Let's see. I know in the back doesn't say either. Put that with the other watches. And a super long beaded necklace. It just feels real lightweight, like it's probably plastic. Ooh, this is pretty. It's a real light, lightweight gold bangle. And it also has a little uh, safety chain on it. Seems like I thought I saw some writing somewhere. Let's see what it says. Oh, it's Sarah Cove. So that's nice. I am creating a Sarah Coventry lot of different uh, jewelry items that I'm going to be selling. So I'll probably put this in that lot. Here is a tribal necklace. I love the tribal necklaces. But this one, unfortunately, it looks like it is missing its center stone. It's like there's probably a stone here, or maybe it was like a, a case, like maybe it had a lid to hold something. That's interesting. Here's a little stretchy ring. Stretchy, stretchy. I don't know what in the world this is. I guess maybe some kind of a bracelet. Maybe it's like an anklet. Let's 
see another what? Here's another one. This one. I'm telling y'all, I can't read anything anymore. This cuff one says Turner. Looks like it has a white leather band. It's pretty messed up. I don't think I'll be able to do anything with that. It's pretty worn. And this one also says Geneva. So as always, if somebody sees something that they like, uh, just shoot me a message and uh, we'll work something out. There's a little set of bracelets. Those are pretty. I might get some of those. I love those stretchy bracelets. Here is a slide bracelet, and this one has, looks like maybe kitchen items, a little skillet, salt and pepper shaker, a, a um, sifter, and a whisk, a spoon. Oh, wait, it says something. So let's see what it says. What does it say, y'all? L E C H E F. What does that stand for? Oh, chef. It says, let's see. Oh, La Chef. How cute is that? Hopefully, you guys can see that okay. La Chef. Super cute little slider bracelet. I think I'll be able to sell that one. Oh, I love this one. So pretty with the plastic flower. Beads, hopefully it doesn't break. Sometimes these bracelets, that's the only thing you have to be careful about them, is sometimes they'll break. I've broken these bracelets at least a couple times. I know I broke one, one in my kitchen and um, it went everywhere all over the kitchen floor. And then I broke one in my bathroom once before too and beads just went everywhere. So. Here is another bracelet. Oh, this one's pretty. It's stretchy, like turquoise. Very pretty. You might just make a lot with these bracelets. They're really pretty. Earring. I'm trying to keep all my earrings separate so that we can um, see if we have any matches at the end. Here is maybe like some kind of a little crystal. I don't see any holes in it. At first I thought maybe it was a pendant, but I'm not sure. Oh, I don't know why that keeps happening. Probably because I'm not touching anything. Let's see, here is definitely an older style necklace, double strand pearls. And I can tell by looking at the type of class, it's definitely older. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything, any writing on it right away. And a lot of times I'll take, yeah, it's magnetic. I'll take some of these items. Stuff's getting all over my neck, but not good. I'll take some of these items and um, put them in my antique booth. So that's really pretty. We got another stretchy bracelet. Looks like this one's probably maybe a kid made this. It's smaller for a little bitty wrist. Another stretchy. Lots and lots of stretchies. This is a pretty um, yellow bangle. Almost has like a marbled effect to it. What is this necklace? But yeah, I've not been seeing a lot of the... Um, I'm not sure what's going on with this. Oh, I think it's broke maybe. No, it's just super long chain. That's kind of pretty. It's got a little circle there. Um, 
a lot of the jewelry bags and a lot of them sometimes I will donate some of my jewelry back and um, I know they, they probably make bags with that so when they do that whenever I do that like for the next week I won't buy any bags there like at my local Goodwill because I know that it's probably full of my own stuff that I've already been through so um, that's why sometimes I pass on the bags at my local store this one's broke you can see it's broke right there. But I do all kinds of things with this jewelry. So I have to know, what do you guys do with your jewelry? I know that as uh, resellers, we like to try to sell a lot of the pieces. This is a real pretty triple strand pearl necklace. Again, the older style class. Uh, as resellers, we try and, you know, if there are some nice pieces, we try to sell them individually. Uh, you can also make nice lots. Ooh, this is pretty. This looks like real silver, too. Um, looks like it has an adjustable little band there. Let's see if it sticks. It doesn't stick. I'm pretty sure this is silver. It just looks like silver. But I'm not seeing markings on it. Maybe it isn't. Either way, it's still really pretty. I'll have to see if it shines up. Let's see what else, what else? Stretchy. Stretchy, another stretchy. Do you guys like the stretchy necklaces? I meant bracelets. Did I say necklaces? I did, didn't I? Ooh, this says Coco Chanel. That's pretty, huh? Certainly, you know, probably not real. You would put a Chanel. It's not sticking. Well, it's stuck to my little thing I have right there. Here, look at the clasp. I'm not seeing anything on the clasp either. Oh, well, this would be a nice piece I might be able to move um, locally. But yeah, really pretty. Well, don't be looking at my bat wings on my arms. Call them bat wings, right? <laughs> oh, all part of getting older, I guess, right? There's a pretty little metal cuff. Let's see. I'm not seeing any writing on it. I actually see some green on it. That's interesting. A little pair of earrings that are together. These are cute, especially like for summertime. Stretchy. Oh my goodness, with the stretchies. Now this one's kind of different. I don't know what what's quite going on here. If you kind of like maybe need to brush yourself. <laughs> Anyway, I'll put that one on for fun. This is a Chico's, I think this is Chico's necklace. So I guess you can wear the pendant, this side is red, and then the reverse side is black. And here is the tag on that. And now you hear Skippy. That's pretty. Might try and sell that one individually. It's a pretty little earring. It's not sticking. No. 
not seeing anything on it right away. It's still really pretty. So it just you just pull it apart and then it snaps into place right there. If they if I find the other one, I might keep these. These are really pretty. I like gold stuff. Let's see. Here, oh, this is sad. This is somebody's baby in here. A little pendant. A little baby in there. It's magnetic for sure. Let's see. Little pen, a little hanger pen. That'd be cute, like for a uh, Poshmark seller. Let's see. Stretchy, stretchy, stretchy. I tell you what, this bag really had a ton of watches. This one has had it. It doesn't even have a back on it. <laughs> wah, wah. Goodness, this is long. Oh. I don't know what that is. Maybe like a belt, maybe? I'm not sure what that one is. These are pretty. I always find a ton of these. Like these vintage beaded earrings like this. The clip-ons. And it does have the matching one. I might actually put together a lot of these just because I have so many of them. Let's see what else we got. We got a stretchy ring. Real pretty with some bling bling. Some bling bling. Oh, these are cute. Writing on it. Oh, here's a Juicy Couture heart pendant. So that's really cute. I feel like I can sell that for at least $10, if not more. <clears throat> and this is real pretty. It's a pierced earring, the rhinestone, a gold little hoop. Really pretty. Set that aside so if you find the match for it. Okay, here's another pair of matching earrings. I definitely put the earrings in my booth too. I have some earring cards I put them on. And I even have a little earring display that you can turn. And I'll put those on there. And I usually sell the earrings anywhere between three and five dollars. I try to keep the, the price pretty low, pretty low. Um, but at the same time, I have to keep in mind we, we do big sales every three months or so. And so I have to keep in mind what my profit will be when that big sale goes on because I usually do about 50% off. Here is a really pretty necklace with a turquoise looking pendant there. I mean, I don't know. It looks like it could be silver. I'm not sure. It doesn't stick, so keep sticking to my little thing there. Look at this, you guys. Isn't this nice? Ooh, let me show you. I picked this up at um, Goodwill, and isn't it cute? So you can hang your little earrings up or bracelets or whatever you want. It's only $7.99. It's like cast iron or something. It's super heavy. Okay, so let's finish this up. So this necklace, super pretty. Oh, another pair of hoops. Really like the hoops. And they have a silver tone looking post there. Here's the other green one. I have the other one? Maybe not. This one's really pretty. Maybe I'll find it. I love the emerald stuff. So pretty. Doesn't stick. I'm looking at these because I actually did find a pair one time similar. Oh, wait, there's some marking on it, you guys. 
all, I think it says GF that I filled, still. Uh, 14K gold filled, 2P, 2PC. I'm probably gonna keep these. They're really pretty and I like the dainty looking stuff. So I got really excited there for a second. I thought it was gonna be real gold. Um, okay. So the screen goes black like that. I guess my screensaver kicks in. If I'm not like doing anything on the keypad. So here's another necklace that looks to be about one, two, triple strand. Let's see. So I can't even find the class one this, you guys. What in the world? I don't know. Anyway, it's kind of different. Necklace. Let's see here. Have another gold necklace, which is really pretty. Just to dress up any uh, outfit really quick. Love that. Oh, here's the other earring. Yay! So we have the matching earrings. They're really pretty. Let's see if I see any writing on them. No, but they're still pretty, even though they're not signed or anything. Oh, wow, look at this one, you guys. That is really pretty. I thought it might pop open. So it's a nice pendant, huh? Like a silver chain. And it has a little bit of gold, a little circle of gold right there. Really pretty. And that's what the back looks like. So this is interesting. I'm not sure what in the world this is. It's got some kind of flower print on it. Whatever it is. Here is another slide bracelet. This one looks to be uh, kitty cats. So kitty cats in baskets, kitty cats sitting. It does look like I see some writing on it. And it is a uh, TOFA. I believe it says T T O F A. So let me show you guys that. My, if you guys see my hand shaking, it's the medicine I take. But yeah, that's a really cute little slide bracelet, huh? It almost looks like pewter. Another necklace. Yeah, look, see this has tape on it. I definitely think this is something that was uh, probably in the cases at Goodwill that didn't sell. And this is kind of creepy. This pendant has like a man inside. I don't know if y'all can see that. Maybe it's a lady. I think it's a man though. That's creepy. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to go on a lot or something. Maybe. Ooh, these are really pretty. Look at this one. Isn't that gorgeous? Hopefully we have the match for that one. Stretchy pearl. Now sometimes when we start getting down to the smaller stuff like this, uh, I get excited because I think, well, maybe we might find some post. Uh, some stud earrings that might be real. Oh, 
Oh, how cute is this? Looks like a little bee. Little bee necklace. And this one is marked, I think it says Claire's. I don't know if you guys have a Claire's where you're at, but yeah, Claire's. It's just a super cute little novelty jewelry type store. Uh, they carry a lot of kids' jewelry. They also have some jewelry for adults too, though. Make sure I'm not missing anything of significance here. That's a real pretty little earring. We have a Superman little key ring. Or I guess this is something you could attach to a purse or a backpack or your keys. Looks like it has some writing on it. And it says TMMC and DC Comics. So that's neat, different. Wow, this is like, what, a 20 strand bracelet? <laughs> That's a lot of strands. I'd be scared to wear that. If that broke, that would be a huge mess, right? Let's see, here's another nerve earrings, so magnetic. This looks like a cute little necklace. I'm not sure what this is. Is it a bird or what in the world that is? It's magnetic. It's not sterling. It's an earring. A little green earring. It's pretty. These are nice little hoop earrings. Now this bracelet, look, it has a little heart clasp. I used to always think that meant Brighton for sure, but apparently there are other jewelers that just make the heart clasp like this. I don't see any bees on it anywhere for Brighton. Plus it's pretty worn. I don't even know if I could sell that. It's pretty tarnished. Oh, what is this? Ooh, it's a butterfly necklace. I love butterflies. I actually raise butterflies, you guys. So um, I have a lot of milkweed plants in my backyard. And the monarchs will come and they will lay their eggs on the leaves. And then when the egg hatches, they'll actually eat all the uh, milkweed. And then after a short time, they will um, become a really big caterpillar. Oh, look, I found the other earring. Yay. What did I do with the other one? Oh, here it is. So, yeah. Let's see if it works. Oh, bummer. It's missing the post thing. Shoot. Well, that'll go on a scrap lot. But anyway, they will uh, make a chrysalis. And... After a short time, usually about, I don't know, maybe 10 to 12 days or so, uh, a butterfly will emerge. So it's a really pretty little necklace. But yeah, my daughter especially loves, loves it when we do that. Stretchy bracelet. Oh, and I found the other one of this one. Very pretty. Sort of fancy, huh? Fancy, fancy. Ooh, this one's pretty too. Let's see what it says. Oh, wow. This is, um, oh gosh. It's got the swan on it. Swarovski. Hopefully I said that right. Wow. Let's see if the other one's there real quick. If I find that other one, that might just pay for this bag right there. It's a gold stretchy. No, that's not even stretchy. It's 
It's a neat little pin. It's like a hand or something holding the world. Just some gold hoops. I think. Oh yeah, they're definitely magnetic. That's interesting. Little mini pendant there. I think that might be a cat, little Catholic pendant. I'll have to look at that one up. Right now I'm so concerned about finding that other earring. Shoot, I'm not seeing it right away. What's this? Oh, that's pretty. Not pretty. Well, you know, you can sell earrings by the ones, right? By a single earring. On the other match for that one. And the green one, this pretty green one. I showed y'all earlier. Let's see. Look at some of this mess. Maybe the earrings stuck in here. this uh, choker real quick. I have actually once in a jewelry jar I got a gold one similar to the silver one here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it untangled so I'm just going to show you like this. So this is what it looks like and it goes around your neck. They call it a choker but on the gold one it was marked up here. I believe it was 14 karat gold and they must have overlooked it. But yeah in a jewelry jar. That's why we buy the jewelry jars, right? Because you just never know. So yeah, I don't see anything right away on that one. I have to get a little bit harder later. Darn, I really wish I could find. Oh, that's a pretty little gold necklace. That's magnetic. Uh, well, if I do happen to find this other earring, you guys, I'll let you know. But hopefully, you guys can see that swan in there. And if you find a piece like this, that means it's Swarovski. Hopefully, I'm still not saying that right. I always get crap for saying it wrong. But yeah, these type of earrings can sell really well. As the other pieces, I've sold a necklace like this before as well. So I guess... That's pretty much it. I'm not seeing anything that stands out at me right away. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this jewelry jar uh, unboxing. And I have one more still that we can do maybe one day next week. Uh, let me know if you guys enjoyed this format, the way that we did it. And uh, please hit the subscribe button and uh, like the video and share it with your friends. And we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everybody.